From Zimbabwe, Shangon Quartz, uh, from the Chibuku deposits in BC Valley, Zimbabwe. Underlying color here, we're looking at a milky guy running into a clear. Touches of smoky, touches of amethyst, inclusions in this case over there, you'd find inclusions of uh, hematite, most likely very iron rich soil these guys form in. This would be a floater, so it formed as is in nature without any matrix. Or there's a touch of matrix sitting on the specimen, as you can see on the sides, which would be tiny quartz crystals. Now, here's the other termination, bit of a broader crystal, going around like that, go across like this. Uh, in like that, little bit of matrix sitting there, it's still crystalline going right through, going across like that. From a display point of view though, I'd prefer this side. And the, the general formation, okay, if you're looking for Lemurian writings, if you look on the sides, all the faces have these uh, multitude of tiny striations known as Lemurian writings in esoteric terms. And then the general underlying form would be almost the witch's finger, where you have a thicker base culminating in a thinner point. This is all from Zimbabwe, Shangan Quartz. A little bit of an ab abstract version on the Shangan, but uh, Shangan in itself is, is so abstract. The form is so exquisite and so, well, inexplicable. It's uh, conversation pieces come uh, study pieces all the way from Zimbabwe.